Hello everybody, good morning. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I have been living in Puerto Escondido, Oaxaca in Mexico for the past three months or so. And today I wanted to show you around the little village of sorts that is La Punta because in my opinion, La Punta is like the backpacker's paradise of Puerto Escondido. It's in a little nook right on the south side of the Zicatella beach. There's loads and loads of restaurants and cafes and hostels. So in this video, I basically just wanted to give you a little tour around La Punta because I imagine if you are a backpacker and you're arriving in Puerto Escondido, this may be somewhere you want to strongly consider staying. <laughs> So first stop of the day is Karma Bowls, which is one of the only acai smoothie bowl places in town. It's down this little alleyway. They had so many different options on the menu. Karen went for the classic acai bowl and I went for the love bowl. They were delicious and nutritious and a great way to start the day. And this is somewhere which is really popular, especially like after you have just gone surfing or something like this. But also they said that they're super busy in the evening as well, like just before sunset for a smoothie. So now we're gonna keep going down this side street, which is taking us straight to the beach. I was expecting. Oh yeah? yeah? What were you expecting? I don't know, like a smaller beach. Oh yeah. Yeah, beautiful. And the water looks really nice today. Yeah. I hope you can hear me okay because of the wind, but we are now out on the beach in La Punta, which I don't know if I've already mentioned, is famous for surfing, especially if you are a beginner surfer. It's super common here to get a surfing lesson. Now, Karen and I went surfing in Chikawa just like a week ago, and we were absolutely spoiled for the waves here, and we can already see that it's not as good in La Punta, but I think it's definitely one of the best spots in town, as well as Caracelio, to learn how to surf. It does look beautiful here, like the water is super blue. The waves are not too, like, not too big. And not too, too big. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like an ideal place to, to get a lesson. And, uh, you're thinking about it, yeah, aren't I think you? Yeah, I, I think I will get a lesson again. So I went to ask the little surf shack on the beach if they had any surf lessons available. That one that's like closest to the edge just there. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one spoke English and my Spanish is just not very good. I asked how much the surf lessons were and for private one it was like 700 and for a group it was 600. Obviously, Christy's not joining me today, so I was going to be by myself. So I thought that was a bit spinny because we paid, what was it, 450? 450. That was for a group in Chacao, but it was only yeah, 500 for a true, private. That's true, 500 for a private. So, English speaking private as well. Exactly. And I was like, oh, I'll shop around a little bit more, see what else is out there. And literally, the first shop I went into, Main Street, um, it was 500 and it was an English speaking instructor. For a so, private as well. For a private as well, so it's good to shop around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, if we can learn anything from that, it's do not go to the first place closest to the beach. Exactly. Because... Go and ask around. Yeah. And, uh, you didn't find... even you didn't go far to no, get, no, to get that like deal, did you? Fun, so. Well done. Oh, I'm excited to see yeah. you soon. absolutely smashing it out there and while she finishes her lesson I'm going to go and get some work done and my go-to place for getting work done in La Punta is Amarisa Cafe so you may know there is an Amarisa Cafe in Cicatella right next to the Selena they're like conjoined and uh, in La Punta there is just an Amarisa Cafe and like the one in Cicatella it's somewhere where you know pretty much know that you can get good Wi-Fi so this is like the main intersection in La Punta I'm gonna go down this way, and um, Amaris is just up over there on the left. Look who's back! 
I look like a drowned rat. No, how was your lesson? It was actually really, really good. The instructor, Fabian, who was awesome, we started out at the front of the beach just to practice a little bit for wave catching, and then we moved over to the bit more of the corner of the beach, which is really, really good. But then the high tide came in, so the waves go less strong. Ah, okay. So, but uh, I managed to catch some waves by myself without a push, so that was really good. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Are you feeling hungry after your surfing? Yeah, I could definitely eat. Okay. Where do you want to go? So there is a taco place, a fish taco place, which everybody talks about, uh, like in the whole of Puerto Escondido, and it's called Pepe's Fish Tacos. Oh, yeah. And I have been there before, I've and they are that. very, very good. They open at three o'clock, and it's just turned three o'clock now. So Good timing. Yeah, very good timing. Going to take you there for snack okay yeah. kind of like a late lunch i'm excited for that yeah. the only thing is is that it's like right up the top close to the main road so we're gonna take the scooter there there it is pepe's it's just in there so that's the menu so this guy's just come along with oysters and they're going to prepare fresh, fresh oyster tacos. I mean, I don't Bad like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of oyster, but <laughs> I will try it. We've actually ordered a lot more than we uh, were expecting. I mean, we were just going for a snack. We were just so going to go for a snack. This guy comes in with a bag of oysters and he's like, you should try one, you should try one. I was like, I hate oysters. He's like, I'll make it good with lemon. And he's like, you know what, let's just have one because why not? We're in Mexico. Karen's has arrived. She's gone for the camera. Camarón con coco. Sí. This is like oh, ultimate oh, gourmet oh, tacos. Oh, oh, is this your oysters? This is really not like a look, but I did it because you don't want to eat it. <laughs> if I give it to you like that. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Okay. So this oh. is my oyster. So that's your oysters. Like I'll have to try some. I don't yeah, like oysters like either, small but one. yeah. Like a small bit. And like. I've gone for the pesca pescado grill. I wish I went for the pescado con coco though. But yeah, like I said, they really are gourmet tacos. If you're an oyster, everything's gonna be your... <laughs> it's like a tongue. Oh, don't think about it. Don't, don't think, think about, about it. it. It's just meat. Yeah, go on. All in. All in. Bad. No, it's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Does anyone like oysters? Neither of us do. Oh, it looks like an eye. Mm. Is it really Boom. Bad? Gone. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Do you need to wash it off? I feel like I'm on a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like that too. God. Okay, it wasn't bad, I think it was just, it was all in my mind. Yeah, it, that, it was literally when you were like, this is an eye, and I was like, oh, you're yeah, sorry. <laughs> I am gonna attack this taco. Oh, oh, are you gonna eat that? And then I just all in, all right? Okay. Does he have salsa? Oh no, it, can't, it already has salsa yeah. on it. Ah, <laughs> mm. oh, he's so nice. Pepe just gave us those oyster tacos for free, which was so, so sweet. And then he said to Karen, that he's gonna give her a cooking yes. lesson. Yes. Yes. Like, These tacos are so good. The flavor is fantastic. He's like, oh, I can give you cooking lessons. I'm like, yes, please. Well done. So we're gonna pop into Bonito, Bonita Escondida, which is a hostel here in La Punta because Karen is gonna be moving to La Punta next week and this is a hostel that I recommended to her but we're just gonna check it out before she actually books. It's about quarter past four in the afternoon now. Bonita Escondida is a beautiful hostel and it seems like somewhere where you can really easily make friends. I think if I was coming to Puerto Escondido and I was only here for a week, I would probably stay in a hostel like that in La Punta because the thing about La Punta is that when you're here, everything is on your doorstep and you kind of have everything that you could possibly need in Puerto Escondido. And I think that that would be a really good option, especially if you were solo and wanted to make friends. So Karen, is definitely going to consider staying there, aren't you? <laughs> I think the only thing about that hostel is if you are not a party goer, you may not enjoy it so much because it seems like everyone in there is down to party. Very, like, it's very, very social kind yeah. of thing. 
if you see what I mean. Anyway, we've now brought ourselves to Skanda, which is right in the middle of La Punta. They actually have one in Zicatella as well, and it's notoriously like a party place. However, it's still open in the daytime for drinks, bevies, whatever. So we have just brought ourselves to the beach section under some shade, and we've ordered some coco frios, which we're very much looking forward to. Definitely. So it's important to get your electrolytes in when yeah. you're in the hot Oaxacan keep, sun. Keep hydrated, guys. Very, very much so. I haven't been enough. <laughs> but a coco frio always makes coco me feel better. Cheers! Look how busy it is now. So it's like six, quarter past six, the sun is going down and as you can see, La Punta has got busy. Like this time, every single day, the beach is always super busy. Everybody comes to watch the sunset and La Punta is actually one of the best places in the whole of Puerto Escondido to watch the sunset just because of the angle that it is. It's directly in front of you over the ocean. Uh, people are playing in the sea, people are playing music. We've got girls doing like glitter over here. I don't exactly know what the occasion is, but that's quite fun. Yeah, we might be going to a festival or something so. tonight. Cute. La Punta is like the party place of Puerto Escondido. Like it's it's a night out every single night. Like there's no night of the week where people are not out and about and drinking and partying. But yeah, it's a really really nice atmosphere at this time. Let's say it's a boat that we're all in to get. Yeah. See, I told you. <laughs> I literally just said to Karen before the sun went down, I said sometimes everyone claps as soon as the sun went down and then lo and behold, there they all were clapping. Like yeah. the plane lands. Yeah, yeah, like when the plane lands but when the sun goes down. Oh, I think this is, I think that's quite sweet. It's quite I sweet. Think. It was really uh, nice when it happened on New Year's Eve. Aww. Sun went down, everyone was like, and I was like a big clap. I was yeah. clapping on that day. I was like, 2020 yeah. is over. <laughs> Okay, so the sun has just set and Karen and I are going to do a little bit of shopping before we go for dinner because there are a few really nice boutiques in La Punta which sell clothes and home decor things. I don't know if I Keenies can fit... Keenies and jewellery. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of jewellery. I don't know if I can fit anything else in my backpack but it's nice to have a look. Oh, a bit of window shopping. Yeah. As we walk to find some shops I'm just going to show you a few of the different restaurants around here because obviously we can't get to everywhere today but I'll, I'll give you a little tour of the uh, of the restaurants around here as well. This one's Mandaka, the Italian place, which is really, really nice. This is Pinch's Tacos. They do really, really good, like kind of, again, gourmet tacos, but because we have just been to Pepe's Tacos earlier, we're not gonna be going there for dinner. This is the Fish Shack, which is opposite Karma Bowls, and they get really, really busy in the evening as well. Another popular jaunt for Thai food, lychee. This is Pioli, they have actually Beyond Meat burgers if you want some good veggie options. This is a really good choice. So Chikama is where I wanted for us to eat tonight, however, the queue outside is already 30 minutes long. There is always, always, always a queue outside Chikama. It's a really, really popular restaurant. And for a good reason, like it's really, really great. But I said to Karen, I think we should go to food, no, El Arbol, yeah. which is a different food market. There's two food markets here in La Punta. And uh, we're gonna go to El Arbol. So cute. So this is El Arbol. They so we have here Vietnamese tacos, sushi, Mediterranean, and then coffee and cake over there. Here's the bar. Oh, and the power's out. We got the is it Ari Ar Arabiata meatballs? Uh, yeah, uh, Albondigas al Arabiata. <laughs> From the Mediterranean stand. It looks super delicious. Don't forget your card. And we've got chips with three cheeses. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, here we no. go. We 
finished off by sharing a big plate of hummus and flatbread, which is actually the best I've tasted in town. And that was it for our day in La Punta, but we did return another evening so I could show you inside Chacama restaurant, which is the Peruvian place right in the middle of La Punta. They do great cocktails and ceviche. Karen went for the garlic shrimp and I went for the cow heart brochettes. Afterwards, we went for a cocktail at a popular spot called Bikini Bar. The cocktails there are really great and it's a nice place to head with your mates before a night out. So if you're in Puesto Escondido and wanting to visit La Punta, make sure you turn right off the main road when you see the 7 plus 1 mini super. You're then going to follow that road all the way down as it takes you directly to the main intersection. I gotta be honest, it's one of my least favorite roads to drive down in town because there are so many aggressive speed bumps. I have lived in Puerto Escondido for three months and not once have I ever wanted to move to La Punta to settle. Like I mentioned, it's the perfect place to stay if you're just in town for a week or so because you have everything on your doorstep and it's by far the most social and busy area. However, it is also the most expensive area with the most expensive food and drinks. You're less likely to explore the rest of town because you won't feel the need to, though you would really be missing out on some absolute gems if you did not leave. You are less likely to have authentic interactions with local here because of the high saturation of tourists. For this reason, I choose to live in other parts of town such as Rinconada or Zicatella, which are quieter, cheaper, but still with loads of things to do and places to eat. And then I can choose to come and go from La Punta when I feel like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!